Hi, everybody, and welcome to this week's Virtual Sunday School. Well, today we're going to be talking about the greatest wrestling match that ever took place in world history. Now, it involves the competitors Jacob, who you remember from last week's episode, and God himself. Now, wait a minute. I know what you're thinking. How is anybody going to wrestle God and win? I mean, couldn't God, like, just take a whole mountain and just drop it on Jacob? Or he could take a whole flock of sheep and turn them into, like, ninjas? Or he could, like, send him off into space so we could talk with those people in the Tower of Babel. Remember that? Well, that's the wrestling match we're going to be talking about today. Now, our story picks up when Jacob was going to meet his brother Esau, who, remember, vowed to kill him on sight when he saw him. So this is a difficult thing for Jacob to figure out what he's going to do. I mean, there's this whole army that's ready now to kill him, but there's also the shame of what he did in that he stole the blessing. So Jacob is like, all right, what have I got? I got death on one hand, or I got to live with shame on the other. So as Jacob is wrestling with this decision, this random man walks by Jacob's camp and Jacob takes notice of him. And he thinks to himself, hmm, you know what I need before I see my brother Esau? I think I need another blessing. Jacob loves blessings. So he asks the man for a blessing. And so the man says, I'm not giving you a blessing. You're going to earn this blessing. And so what ends up happening is the two of them wrestle all night long for this blessing. And finally at daybreak, as it looks like Jacob is about to win, the man says, enough. And Jacob says, not until I get my blessing. And the man in this super kung fu move reaches down and he touches Jacob's hip and immediately it gets dislocated. And now all of a sudden Jacob collapses. But the man, not wishing to leave him alone, says, the blessing that I will give you now is I'm gonna change your name from Jacob to Israel. And Israel is the country that we have, and it's named after Jacob. And it turns out that this man was actually God as Jesus Christ. Wait a minute. I know what you're thinking. Did he just say Jacob wrestled with Jesus? I mean, I've heard that some people think that Jacob wrestled an angel. And then other people think that it was all a dream and he kind of just saw in his dream. But did I hear him say Jesus? The same Jesus that says, turn the other cheek if you get hit. And now we have him in the greatest wrestling match in history. But we know that Jacob wrestled or struggled with God because it's in the name that the man gave him. He said, your name is Israel. And one variation of that Hebrew name is struggles with God. So if he struggled or wrestled with an angel, then his name would be in Hebrew, one who struggles with angels. Or if it was a dream, then it'd be something like one who struggles with insomnia. But that's not what it was. What it was is he struggles with God. And that is what we do many, many times in our life is we struggle with God, faced with the difficult decisions that we have to make. Now, everybody struggles with difficult things. You do, your parents do, I do, but probably none of us are facing the struggles that Jacob did, death or shame. But still, we all face these difficult struggles. But in the end, it's important to know that God, just like he did for Jacob, blesses our struggle as long as we're doing it for a righteous or a good reason, meaning that it is for God's glory and not for our glory. So if you'd like to learn more about how to deal with struggle, we have a link in the description below from one of our other Sunday School videos entitled, How to Deal with Struggle. So thank you again for watching and join us again next time. And remember to share, like, and subscribe.